Hi everyone, Trishna here. So today I want to talk to you about what you can do if you're currently in a toxic environment or toxic situation, or maybe you're surrounded by toxic friends or have a toxic partner, or maybe you're just surrounded by people who don't believe in the law of attraction and who also feel the need to tell you that you are wrong for believing the law of attraction and trying to use it to build up your life. And this video idea was inspired by Hammer. Thank you so much. He sent me a video request for this topic. And I feel like this is just such an important topic to cover because our environment and the people that we surround ourselves by can have such a huge impact on how we see the world and our psyche and our psychology and therefore what it is that we can attract into our life, how much success we can bring into our life. And so I feel like this is just such an important and big topic and that's what, I, that's what I want to talk to you about today is what do you do in that situation and how can you use the law of attraction to create a different scenario for yourself, to vibrate out of this reality that you are currently in if you are in an environment that is not supportive of you and your dreams and your needs and, and all of that. So the first thing that you need to do whenever you're trying to remove yourself from this situation is you first need to understand that you have created this situation for yourself. For better or for worse, somehow, some way, you have attracted this situation into your life. It may have been the thoughts that you've been thinking, the feelings that you've been having, or the belief systems that are currently in place in your mind. Somehow you have created this reality for yourself. That is the law of attraction. It says our thoughts and our emotions and our beliefs are what create the reality that we experience. And you don't have to know how you created this reality. You don't have to know where this came from. You don't have to go back into your past and find who was it that instilled this belief in you or what was that one moment that created this fear in you or whatever the situation is. You don't have to know where this comes from. In my opinion, I feel like that doesn't really matter at all because if you are still creating this reality in your life, it means that you hold those beliefs and those thoughts today. And so you want to address those thoughts that you currently have today because it is your thoughts today that are creating your future reality. And digging into the past, I mean, I guess it can help and I think it can help in certain situations, but I think for the most part, don't get so caught up into why and where this came from. If you get insights on that already, it can be helpful, but like don't, don't stress yourself out, out trying to figure out how and why this happened. Just understand that you've created this reality today there are certain beliefs that you hold, certain thoughts that you have, certain emotions that you feel that have created this reality that you have. And now that you are aware of that, you have the power to use the law of attraction to shift those beliefs, those thoughts, those emotions to create something different for yourself. That's all that you really need to take away from this. So that's the first step. The next step is you have to make a decision because I feel like there are two avenues to using the law of attraction in these types of situations and you want to know which one of those you are going to use for you to bring the success that you want. So the decision that you have to make is, okay, so I've created this reality. I don't know how. It doesn't matter. I have my current beliefs today that I'm going to work on and that's, that's all I need to focus on to create a new reality. So I've created this reality and I know that I have the power to create something different. What is that different? What is that new version that I want for myself? So let's focus on toxic relationships. If you have a toxic group of friends or just a toxic single relationship, what do you want out of that relationship? Do you want to continue with this person? Do you want to find some way to agree to disagree in a way that is very comforting to you, that makes you feel good? Do you want to find a way to make peace with this person and still have them in your life? Or do you want to cut this group or cut this person out of your life completely? Do you want something new? Do you feel like this relationship is just not something that you want to have in your reality at all? What you choose to do is very much an individual decision. It really depends on you, your life circumstances, your relationship with this other person or these other people, and what you really want for your, your life, what you know is best for you. So which side you decide to go on is 100% up to you. I have certainly had friends in my life who were toxic, but over the years that I had known them, I have seen them grow more than most people grow. And so even though our relationship isn't quite where it should be and there are some toxic elements to it, I do believe that this person is trying and they're growing and 
that our relationship is only going to continue to get better and I can appreciate the fact that they want to grow. That is good enough for me to want to continue with this person and have them stay in my life. But I also have other friends who are not interested in growing who it's the same situation over and over. There really aren't any improvements and I don't really want them in my life because there is no growth happening on their side. It's only happening on mine. So this is very much going to be a sp very individual decision for you on what you need in your life at this point in time. Now, there are situations that you can escape. Maybe you have a toxic family. Maybe you are in a toxic work environment and you can't just up and quit. I have been in those as well. And so in that case, you're going to have to do the plan of keeping them in your life right now. That's how you're going to have to use the law of attraction is I'm not going to take the path of just leaving the situation. I'm going to have to work on this truly with my vibration first. Either way, no matter what path you take, you are going to have to work on your vibration because if you just up and cut from whoever this person is or the situation is and go somewhere else, you're going to attract the exact same scenario. Why? Because you as a person, your vibration is still the same. So you could decide that you don't like where you're living, this whole environment in your city is wrong, and then you decide to move to a different city across the country. Eventually, your situation is going to end up exactly the same as it was before, unless you do the vibrational work, because your vibration doesn't change just because you change location. Your vibration stays the same until you do the belief, the healing, the intention work that I talked about in the first seven videos of the... Law of Attraction 2019 Toolkit, until you change your vibration, you're going to continue to attract the exact same things no matter what factors in the external world you try to change. So, okay, so let's, let's clarify some of this. How do you actually proceed with everything that I have just told you? So you understand you've attracted your reality, it's based off of your vibration. The only way to change that is to first change your vibration. You have a toxic situation, toxic relationship, something like that, and you have an idea of what you want for yourself. You either want to cut this person or situation out, or you want to remain with them, or you have to because of your current financial situation or family situation or whatever it is. So you have an idea of what you're working with. So the next thing you need to do is, look at my notes for a second, is if you want to, let's say you have a toxic group of friends and you no longer want to hang out with them, just don't hang out with them anymore. If you, if they invite you to something and you really don't feel like going, don't go. You have the opportunity. If you are in a situation where you have the freedom to not go and you don't want to go, don't go. But remember that your vibration is the single most important thing that you need to manage at all points in time because that is what attracts your reality. That is what brings everything that you experience into your experience. So just because you don't go doesn't mean that you don't need to do the work because your vibration is still the same even if you don't go to this party or this event with those people. So don't go, but also make sure that you're working on your belief system, you're working on what bothers you about these people, what don't you like about them, and work on healing around those, making peace with those traits in other people that you don't like, and that will release them from your experience because you will no longer have this energetic hold on them. You will have let go of whatever it is about them that bothers you. And then you can start bringing in people naturally, they'll just come into your life who embody the qualities that you would prefer to have in your friends or in your environment. Now, if you want to keep this person, these people or the situation in your life, or if you are required to because of your monetary situation or family situation or specific situation, then here's what you need to do. So again, you have to work on your belief system, your vibration, because that is going to shift the environment that you're already in. That is going to shift how people in your life react to you, what sides of themselves that they show to you. So here's one thing that you need to understand. So in all situations, but especially when it comes to people, we are multifaceted. We all contain elements of ourselves that are good, elements of ourselves that are bad, elements of ourselves that are selfish, elements of ourselves that are selfless, elements of ourselves that are confident, elements of ourselves that are insecure, elements of ourselves that are boastful, and elements of ourselves that are humble. We, we all contain the full spectrum of what it is to be a human, every single one of us. 
and each one of us decides to live within a limited spectrum. So some people tend to live on the more selfish end of the spectrum and that tends to be their default. Some people live on the more selfless side of the spectrum and that's their default. So we all contain the full breadth of everything that it means to be a personality and a human, positives and negatives, but we, we tend to stick within a certain realm and that tends to define more of our personality and more of our actions and how we go to go about our life and interacting with other people. But we all contain all elements of that. And the reason why this is important is because every person in your life is showcasing a certain sliver of the full spectrum that they could be. And so you, with your vibration, are attracting certain elements of each person into your life. And that's why you may be attracting more toxic people in your life. Now, the person that is toxic embodies all characteristics, even the good ones. But you are only seeing the toxic side of things because that is your where your vibration is at this point in time. That is why your environment is what it is at this point in time. So you have to shift in yourself the vibration and that will shift the people and the environment in your life to now show you the aspects that match your new vibration. So if you want a more positive outcome and you shift your beliefs to expect more positive things from people, that is the version of themselves that they will show you. We're all multifaceted. We all have multiple versions of ourselves. Just think about the number of roles that we play in our lives, whether we are somebody's child, their parent, their friend, we're colleagues, somebody's employee, somebody's boss. We're always playing these different roles. And in every one of those roles, we're often showcasing different sides of ourselves as well. And so we are just very multifaceted, like I keep saying, we just are very, we can be very malleable as well. And, and so that's something for you to keep in mind. The other thing, especially when it comes to people, to keep in mind is that every single person <clears throat> is exactly where they need to be on their personal journey. They are doing the best that they can. They have experiences that have shaped them to be a certain way. <clears throat> They are dealing with current experiences right now that may ch shape them to act in certain ways. If somebody is dealing with a lot of stress, they may be very angry all the time, but that's not truly who they are. It's just because there's so much going on in their life that they can't handle it all and they're overwhelmed. So every person ex is exactly where they need to be on their journey. They're doing the best that they can given what they have learned, what they have experienced, and what they know. And you just have to understand that about other people. You also have to understand that different people have different value systems. For better or for worse, whether you agree with it or not, everybody has their own value systems that was instilled within them, probably from childhood. And yes, those can change and everybody's responsible for being the best person that they can be. But once you let go of the need for people to fit within your personal value system, your life, your environment, your interactions with people will change. So for me, my toxic environment was early in my career, I would always end up with the worst boss in the entire department. And I'm not just saying they're the worst boss, they were, everybody was like, you got the worst one. Like everybody collectively agreed that they were the worst one. And I truly <laughs> experienced that they were the worst one. And for me, I realized that I used to have this pet peeve where I did not like it when people lied and were deceptive in order to get whatever it is that they wanted. I didn't like when they would twist the truth to make somebody else look bad. I felt like that was very, I didn't like malicious people. <clears throat> That's probably something that we can all agree on. And, but that was also my value system. I'm not a malicious person and I don't like people who are malicious and yet here I was being paired up with somebody extremely malicious. <clears throat> and that was what caught me in that environment was I did not like malicious people. And so when you don't make peace with certain things, the universe is like, what'd you say? <laughs> they just, all the universe hears is malicious people. And so that's why I was in that situation. And I finally realized that that was what was holding me up. And one day I just decided, you know what? Everybody has a different value system. <clears throat> Everybody grew up with different experiences, different parenting styles. Maybe they were bullied. Like, I don't know what has happened in this person's life to make them how they are and to have given them this, this value system <clears throat> that they currently have and to have built in all these insecurities in them that causes them to lash out at others. 
but I can respect, I can understand that something has shaped them to be this way, that they are doing their best, and that, that they are exactly where they need to be on their journey. <clears throat> And I can accept that the universe has created all of us equally as equally worthy. And just because I don't like how somebody is being does not mean that they are bad or that they are wrong. They're doing bad things, but they have their own value system. And it is not for me to tell them what their value system should be. That is for them and their journey and their connection with their own higher self <clears throat> and their cycles of lifetimes. And I wouldn't want somebody to impose their value system on me. That's just really annoying. So once I let go of the need, once I let go of my annoyance and my anger and my you shouldn't be malicious vibration, and I just accepted that this is who they are, this is who they're supposed to be, they're doing the best that they can, and I just need to be over here working on myself, doing the best that I can. Once I let go of that, I ended up getting an offer at a different company I went there and my situation was improved. It was still very similar because obviously I learned <laughs> that I had not completely shifted all of my beliefs. So I was still holding on to beliefs from that previous role. So I worked on more of those beliefs and identified more of those and made more peace with my toxic environment there, which was better, but not, <clears throat> not where I needed to be. And after a year of that, I ended up at a company that was absolutely amazing. The culture was beautiful. I had some of the best colleagues and I think very fondly on that last company that I worked for. So <clears throat> this does work, but you really, really, really have to let go of the anger and your value system versus their value system. You just have to really accept that everybody here is equally worthy. And yes, maybe they're doing things that you don't like, but you don't have to have emotions around that. You can kind of accept that they're doing the best that they can. And the moment that you do that and you let go of it, your reality will just shift. It will change. You will get new opportunities. People will suddenly change and, <clears throat> and be kinder to you if they can't leave. Your reality will shift to match your new vibration. So before I share the last gem of this video, I want to recap a few of the lessons that I think are really key that are in this video. So the first one is... You have attracted your situation and that's okay and it does not matter where that came from. It only matters that you know that you've attracted it and that you know that you have the power to change it. The other one is, is that everybody has their own value system. Everybody's exactly where they need to be on their journey. Let go of the need to have everybody operate in your value system because everybody came here uniquely and worthy and there is some specialness to them and their value system, whether or not you can see. It's not for you to see, it's only for you to understand that the divine would not have created somebody like this if there wasn't some form of value, if there wasn't some form of intelligent, dynamic, universal, energetic backing behind it. So that's the other thing that's really important for you to understand. And the other thing that's really important for you to understand is you can't escape your situation just by leaving it or moving somewhere. You will always create the same environment for yourself or the same situation unless you change your vibration. The only way to change your circumstance is to change your vibration. That is the only, only way. <clears throat> so that is also really, really important and key for you to note. The last thing that I want to let you know is we talked about how you need to change your vibration and that will shift how people act towards you and what size of themselves that they show you. Now. This is not, this does not mean that you can affect somebody else's free will. This does not mean that you are changing people to be something that they don't want to be. Because that's not how the universe works. We are all, we all have our, our own unique vibration. We all have our own reality that we're creating. And every person and every being is creating their own reality and it is equal and equally powerful as everybody else's. So you cannot change somebody's free will. You cannot you, you just can't affect them directly that way. Now, you can impose somebody's free will in the sense that you can put them down. And if they believe the things that you say about them, that will affect their vibration and create a less successful situation for them. That's what's happening to you in your toxic environment. You're in this environment where people are maybe putting you down or they're making bad choices or they're making you believe that this is all that there is and that can affect your success. So that is an indirect, you can indirectly influence somebody's reality by by 
by how you treat them and whether or not they embody that. If you if you give if you shower them with positivity and they embody that, they can have success. If you shower them with negativity and they embody that, they will have more failure. If you shower them with positivity and they don't believe it, it will have no effect or they'll basically just continue on their plan. If you shower them with negativity and they don't believe it, they can still be successful. So it's all about Ultimately, the only person who can affect your reality is you and your vibration. We can only indirectly influence people through how we treat them. So <clears throat> the same thing applies. It's like you cannot change somebody else unless they want to be changed. You cannot affect somebody else's free will. So if you are worried about that, you don't need to be worried about that. Everybody's equally powerful. You will not be making somebody do something that they don't want to do. So what happens is, if there is somebody and you are switching your vibration to where you want positive aspects, certain qualities of people to show up for you and certain qualities of them to not show up for you. So you're focusing on the qualities that you want. If these people in your life, if that is something, if that is a side of them that they want to show to other people, they will stay in your life and they will shift to show you those sides of themselves. More of that than the sides that you don't like. If that's not what they want, if they don't want to be that kind of person for you or for anybody else, you will no longer be a vibrational match to this person because you have shifted your vibration to only accept certain qualities. And if they're not willing to give you those qualities, you cannot live in the same environment. You cannot live in the same place. And so they will, one way or another, exit your experience. So I mentioned in a past video how I was in a toxic work situation. I kind of mentioned some of it here, but I was in a toxic work situation and every day I would, when I was upset at work, I would write down on a piece of paper, I would shift my beliefs. I would try to make peace with my situation in the moment as quickly as I could. And what happened was I ended up getting laid off as a result because now my vibration had shifted and I was no longer a match to the environment that I was in, but the environment didn't want to catch up to me. It wanted to stay the way that it was. And so I was ejected. And then six months later, I ended up making over double what I was making before working from home, which is what I wanted in my PJs every single day, five days a week, not just once or twice, five days a week. And, <clears throat> and having amazing colleagues and working in a wonderful culture at one of the top companies on the fortune 500 100 list or whatever so so if your environment or if the people in your life don't want to match don't want to keep up with you and where you're at they will exit your experience one way or another and a better one will come in so you do not ever have to worry about affecting somebody's free will because if somebody doesn't want to be a part of your version of reality that you want to live, they don't have to be. They will somehow leave. You will no longer be a match. And so that's just another thing for you to know is your your vibration is yours to do whatever you would like with. And so, and everybody else just, just matches that or chooses not to and leaves. And that's just how, that's just how it works. Your, the universe in a sense does revolve around you and your vibration. And that's, I guess that's really all that there is to it. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Decide what you want to do with these people or this environment in your life and use the law of your attraction. Change your vibration because nothing will change otherwise. You will just end up in the same, you may end up in a different place, but it will be same, it'll be like the same place, just different location or like same people, just different faces and different names. So make sure that you are always prioritizing your vibration and what it is that you're calling into your life. And if you don't know how to do that, and if you haven't already seen my first seven videos in the Law of Attraction 2019 playlist, I highly, highly recommend that you watch the first seven videos. I've numbered them one of seven, two of seven, three of seven. They're all in order on the playlist. You can find the playlist at the end of this video. You can also, in the end cards, you can also find it on my homepage. You can also find it on my playlist page. So make sure that you check that out and it will tell you exactly how to shift your vibration so that you can attract the reality that you want and the experiences that you have with people and all that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe and I will see you in my next video.